Yo, what's good, world? It's your boy Gio, man. I'm back with another one, man. This one, I'm going to keep it short and simple and let y'all check out this video. Um, it's a lot of places that's fast food. That's really all, most of the majority of them not really good for you. And uh, they was also stating about the meats and stuff like that on how we can't produce enough meats to compensate for everyone that's on this earth. It's over 8 billion of us, but uh, outside of that, uh, they talking about how McDonald's uh, had a big mistake, man. It put what, 50, 50 or 53 people in the hospital, man, and, and one person passed away from the burgers, man. Um, they had to take it off the menu, and uh, they said allegedly it's, it's the the the, bur the the patty, the onions, I think the tomatoes. Might have been the whole, I mean, you might as well just say the whole burger at that point. I mean, this is crazy, man. Like, you know, I, I uploaded a video a while back about this type of uh, subject. When they say the places is not great to eat at. And a lot of them will blow your mind because it's places that you like to eat, you know. But back on the McDonald's, man, they, they've been having a lot of things going on as far as what's going on with the food. How real or how fake it is. And just, man. It's unfortunate for all these people that's going through this, man, especially the elder and the young that, that you know, can't fight it as easy as a middle-aged person, you know, and uh, it's unfortunate that one person had to pass away from this, man. This is this is big. They uh, took it off the menu in all of the states that it was in. I think it was like 13 states or 10 states or something like that. They said that it was in, and um, yeah, man, uh, everybody be able to on the lookout be careful if you can avoid it you know avoid it the prices of that now anyway it's comparable to chick-fil-a not saying chick-fil-a is any better but what they got going on right now with the people passing and stuff like that and getting really sick man just try to avoid eating out as much as possible anyway for your health and health as well uh cook man uh learn to be a chef look up recipes man try to Make it happen that way. You'll save money anyway and have more at the end of the day. But uh, y'all check this one out, man. Let me know what y'all think about this video, man. Hit the comments, man. Let's talk about this one as well. And um, hit that subscribe button, man. Run it up for me, man. Let's do this. Let's do this, man. Till then, man. Peace, love, happiness, man. Um, stay safe. Stay warm. Stay blessed. Stay happy, man. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. I'm out, man. Peace. Take a look at shares of McDonald's. That stock moving lower uh, by 8.5%. This is on an alert from the CDC that there is an E. coli outbreak linked to McDonald's quarter pounders. The investigation start date uh, is today, the 22nd. 49 cases, the CDC says so far. 10 hospitalizations, one death across 10 different states. It notes this is a fast-moving outbreak uh, investigation. We've reached out to McDonald's for more comment on this. But once again, the CDC uh, alerting here there is an E. coli outbreak linked to McDonald's quarter pounders and that stock lower by nine and a half percent now on this news. We'll bring you any updates as we get it back over. McDonald's says that sliced raw onions topping its quarter pounder burgers could be the culprit behind the E. coli outbreak. The onions sourced from a single facility are being scrutinized along with the quarter pounder beef patties. But a McDonald's spokesperson adds the beef comes from multiple suppliers and is cooked well above the 160 degree temperature that kills the E. coli bacteria, noting there would have to be preparation failures at several restaurants. McDonald's stock was down more than 5% today with the news. For now, 20% of restaurants nationwide have temporarily stopped serving quarter pounders. Other beef products at McDonald's, including the cheeseburger, hamburger, Big Mac McDouble, and the double cheeseburger, are not impacted. The CDC says 49 cases were found in 10 states. 26 of the cases were in Colorado and one death. 10 people have been hospitalized, including a child. Now, the CDC says cases may go up because of the time that it takes for people to get sick and then be diagnosed. We also know the first lawsuit was filed today. Nora.
Karen Morfitt, thank you so much. McDonald's faces a deadly breakout of E. coli after its popular burger has killed one person and left another 49 sick. Ten victims have been hospitalized, including a child who has suffered life-threatening kidney damage. The chain have removed the quarter pounder from the 10 affected states after all E. coli victims allegedly ate the burger before falling sick. The company's N.A. chief supply officer has spoken out, saying the fast food company take food safety extremely seriously. The CDC says some McDonald's quarter pounders could be making people sick. Burgers from some locations have been connected to more than four dozen E. coli infections. At least one person has died. The CDC says that 49 people have been infected with E. coli so far, and most reported eating a quarter pounder from McDonald's before falling ill. McDonald's says it's pulled the burger from menus in impacted locations and that it's linked a subset of cases to slivered onions sourced from a single supplier, which serves three distribution centers. Other beef products at McDonald's, including the cheeseburger, hamburger, Big Mac McDouble and the double cheeseburger are not impacted. So far, one death has been linked to the outbreak. Ten people have been hospitalized, including a child who developed severe kidney complications. People can get really sick from this. Uh, the symptoms include diarrhea, which could be bloody, abdominal cramping, vomiting, fever, and you can get severely dehydrated. The same E. coli strain caused four people to fall ill and die after an outbreak impacted dozens of jack-in-the-box restaurants in the early 90s. In a statement, McDonald's says it's working to replenish supplies of the quarter pounder in the coming weeks. It added the company will continue to cooperate with the CDC as it works to restore its full menu. CDC says the outbreak has sickened nearly 50 people in 10 states in the Midwest and West. One person has died in Colorado. Now, these illnesses are being linked to the chain's quarter pounders. The CDC opened its investigation last week. Still not known which exact ingredient is making people sick, but both slivered onions and quarter pound beef patties are being looked at. Now, in the affected states, quarter pounders have been pulled from restaurants. And while shares of McDonald's stock have taken a hit since the outbreak was revealed, the company's president says it will work to restore confidence. Coli in 10 states linked to McDonald's quarter pounder hamburgers. 10 people have been hospitalized and one person has died. Just spoke with the person heading up the outbreak investigation for the CDC, and he said this was first noticed in Colorado on a coli show that was present in 10 states. Now, McDonald's says the illnesses may be linked to slivered onions used on quarter pounders. And the CDC told me just now that another possibility is the patty itself, which is just used on the quarter pounder, which McDonald's says has been removed from a total of 12 states. McDonald's says all other menu items are unaffected. Well, symptoms usually start about two to seven days after exposure. They can include diarrhea, fever, abdominal cramping, vomiting, and feeling dehydrated or dizzy. And the CDC told me if you ate a quarter pounder, and you have these symptoms, any of them, you should contact your health care provider, especially if you have fever over 102, you can't keep liquids down, or your symptoms are lasting more than three days. Now, in a statement, McDonald's says safety is a top priority, and it's taking, quote, swift and decisive action following the outbreak. Nor Do not eat McDonald's again until you see this because there is a massive E. coli outbreak. It is caused directly by the quarter pounder at McDonald's. Let's take a look at this. So they are saying that the beef patties and the slivered onions are the two things that could be the culprit behind the E. coli outbreak. They are calling it fast moving and they've already started taking these down from Colorado, Iowa, Kansas, Missouri, Montana, Nebraska, Oregon, Utah, Wisconsin, and Wyoming. The CDC says they may also be in other states. They don't know. And here are the symptoms. So if you've eaten a quarter pounder and feel these symptoms, including severe stomach cramps, diarrhea, fever, and vomiting, they usually begin three to four days after swallowing the bacteria. Well, then immediately go in and get checked for E. coli. I smell a massive class action lawsuit coming against McDonald's, and so did the stock market because it fell 10% in after hours trading after this news broke. But if you do go to McDonald's and eat, don't eat a quarter pounder. At least not until they get all this figured out. But what do you guys think about this? Have you felt any of these symptoms? You got a bad tummy ache? I don't know. Something wrong. Do not eat McDonald's again until you see this because there is a massive E. coli outbreak. It is caused directly by the quarter pounder at McDonald's. Let's take a look at this. So they are saying that the beef patties and the slivered onions are the two things that could be the culprit behind the E. coli outbreak. They are calling it fast moving. 
and they've already started taking these down from Colorado, Iowa, Kansas, Missouri, Montana, Nebraska, Oregon, Utah, Wisconsin, and Wyoming. The CDC says they may also be in other states. They don't know. And here are the symptoms. So if you've eaten a quarter pounder and feel these symptoms, including severe stomach cramps, diarrhea, fever, and vomiting, they usually begin three to four days after swallowing the bacteria. Well, then immediately go in and get checked for E. coli. I smell a massive class action lawsuit coming against McDonald's, and so did the stock market because it fell 10% in after hours trading after this news broke. So if you do go to McDonald's and eat, don't eat a quarter pounder. At least not until they get all this figured out. But what do you guys think about this? Have you felt any of these symptoms? Let me know in the comments. Like, share, and follow. And we are watching Bald News. McDonald's has stopped selling quarter pounder hamburgers in some states because of an E. coli outbreak. The CDC says 49 people in 10 states have gotten sick with E. coli after eating McDonald's quarter pounders. Now, Texas is not one of those states, but CDC officials say the true number of people infected is likely much higher than reported because many people can recover from E. coli without medical care or are not tested for E. coli. Colorado has the most cases with 29 illnesses, Iowa, Kansas, Missouri, Montana, Nebraska, Oregon, Utah, Wisconsin, and Wyoming also have reported illnesses. They don't know yet which ingredient in the burgers is causing the outbreak. Symptoms of E. coli include diarrhea and a fever higher than 102 degrees, as well as vomiting and dehydration. Symptoms usually start three to four days after ingesting the bacteria. This is so blatant, I can't even tell you. Just two days after Donald Trump worked the drive through at McDonald's, look what Joe Biden's government just did. The CDC released this alert, E. coli outbreak linked to McDonald's quarter pounders. And when did they release this? October 22nd, two days after Donald Trump was slinging fries and working the drive through Now, I'm no conspiracy theorist, but with the timing of this, it's hard not to be. According to the report, about 49 people who claim they've all eaten McDonald's Quarter Pounders have gotten sick in these states. None of them are Pennsylvania, the state where Donald Trump was working the drive through But it doesn't matter because Donald Trump and McDonald's are synonymous. And so now the CDC's report has kind of poison that image. No pun intended. That's a lie. Pun totally intended. Now, this could, of course, just be a coincidence. Sure, it could totally be a coincidence that two days after Donald Trump basically won the election by working at a McDonald's restaurant when Kamala Harris claimed she did, but there's no evidence to support that, the CDC releases this report. 100% that could be a coincidence. And I'm 100% sure it is not political retribution by Joe Biden and his administration against an American company like McDonald's for allowing Donald Trump to come in and create that amazing opportunity to connect with voters just two weeks before the election. I mean, could you imagine Joe Biden actually weaponizing a government agency against one of his political adversaries? That would never happen. Top 10 worst fast food chains in USA 2024. Part one, number 10, Jack in the Box. Jack in the Box's 1993 E. coli outbreak that killed four, including two children, and sickened 732 others, exemplifies the severe public health risks. Repeated child labor violations, with the worst record in California in 1990 and fines in 2018 and 2020, highlight unethical labor practices. Menu items like the 1,000-calorie Jumbo Jack burden customers with excessive calories, fat, and sodium. Slow drive-through times and apathetic managers further diminish the customer experience, compounding the brand's negative reputation. Number 9. Little Caesars. Little Caesar's consequences are evident in reports of soggy dough, bland sauce, uneven cheese distribution, sparse toppings, dirty dining rooms with sticky floors, and grimy bathrooms. An Indianapolis location was shut down in 2018 after customers found rat droppings baked into pizza crusts, highlighting rodent infestations and health code violations. Such incidents, coupled with long wait times despite hot and ready promises, damage the brand's reputation and public trust in food safety standards. Number 8. Carl's Jr. Hardee's Carl's Jr.'s consequences are evident in its demeaning Hot Models ad campaigns, boycotts over far-right political endorsements, and exorbitantly unhealthy options like the 1,180-calorie, 81-gram fat, 
Triple Western Bacon Cheeseburger. Reports of insects, rodents, dirt, hair, and other contaminants in food highlight poor sanitation. One customer bluntly described their experience as a dirty little diarrhea factory, underscoring how the brand compromises ethics, nutrition, and cleanliness standards. The seven worst fast food restaurants for your health, according to a global survey. Number seven, Subway. While Subway offers seemingly healthy choices with its sandwiches, some options can be high in sodium, unhealthy fats and calories when loaded with condiments and processed meats. Number six, Domino's Pizza. Domino's Pizza is known for its high calorie pizzas, often loaded with processed meats, excessive cheese, and a thick crust. Number five, Taco Bell. Taco Bell's menu is known for its high sodium content, processed ingredients, and often fried dishes. Number four, Burger King. Burger King's menu includes dishes like the Whopper, which can be high in calories, harmful fats, and sodium. Meals often include large portions and sugary drinks. Number three, McDonald's. McDonald's is renowned for its high calorie dishes, such as Big Macs and large fries, which can contribute to excessive calorie intake. Number two, KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken. KFC Fried Chicken is a fast food classic, but it's also loaded with unhealthy trans fats, calories and sodium, especially in tenders. And number one is... Tell me in the comments who's number one. Five fast foods you should never eat. One, Panda Express. Don't let the stir fry fool you. Their F rating hints at excessive antibiotics and hidden sodium bombs lurking in that orange chicken. Two, Taco Bell. While they've clarified that it is 100% USDA-inspected beef, the exact blend of spices and fillers remains unknown, but the lack of transparency makes it tough to assess its true nutritional value and potential additives. 3. McDonald's The Big Mac may be iconic, but those two all-beef patties contain more than just meat. Fillers, undisclosed additives, and a hefty dose of saturated fat and sodium make this burger a, a mini-death bomb. Four. Olive Garden. The Italian charm comes with a hidden cost. Their low antibiotic score raises concerns, and creamy sauces add unwanted fat to your meal. 5. Subway. Is there tuna? Really tuna? Lawsuits and DNA testing doubt its authenticity. Plus, the mayo and bread add unnecessary fat and sodium. And they've lied about their foot long being an actual foot. The six worst restaurant chains in America for 2024. Part 1. 6. The Cheesecake Factory. The menu at the Cheesecake Factory is practically a textbook on the causes of obesity. With such an enormous menu, it's likely that all the food is frozen because no restaurant can keep enough inventory to meet such high demand. Number five, Golden Corral. Customers complain that the food is just dressed up under fancy lighting to make it look like high quality dining. It's like the Walmart of restaurants with their slogan, help yourself to happiness, which is a laughable attempt to make customers feel good. In reality, the dining experience inside is just frustrating and downright terrifying. Number four, Buffalo Wild Wings. The chances of getting cold food are way higher than getting it hot, and it almost always takes over 30 minutes to get served. Diners can't help but wonder what's happening in the kitchen. Plus, the dining areas are always dirty, with crumbs and straw wrappers scattered everywhere. 10 fast food meats you should always avoid, part two. Five, Applebee's, the chain steak quality has reportedly declined over the years and they received a food grade of F, mainly due to using select grade meat instead of prime grade meat. Four, Panda Express, the Chinese food franchise's meat received an F rating due to heavily battering chickens and sugary and fatty sauces, suggesting that it might be better to opt for smaller local Chinese restaurants. Three, Olive Garden, the chain did not return a food survey regarding antibiotics in their meat. The chain also treats their meats with sodium solutions or preservatives. This all raises concerns around the restaurant. 2. Taco Bell. The ground beef used in their tacos contains only 88% beef, with the rest being fillers like phosphates and oats. Additionally, the beef they do use allegedly contains antibiotics and hormones. 1. Starbucks. The including meat is not prepared in-house, but is instead shipped frozen to each location. This arises concerns about food contamination and freshness. 
Guess the top 10 unhealthiest snacks on the planet. Potato chips. Potato chips. I'm going to need you to be. Oh, we're going brands. These are brand specifics. So I'll help you out throughout Lays. this list. Not Lay's. There's actually no potato chips on here. <laughs> okay. So you there's just no lied chips. I just lied you to you. You lied to my face. But there's a relative to the potato nachos. chips. Not nachos. Cheetos. Cheetos cheese puffs is number seven. Uh, and crunchy Cheetos is number wow, 10. Wow, Cheetos are unhealthy. Apparently, I mean, two in the top 10. They're the only one on the you list. You know what I love now? Taki. You like a good spice. Pretzels? Snyder's Hot Buffalo Wing Pretzel Pieces. That sounds really good. Why don't you dip into some cookies? Oreos. Oreo cookies are number six. Chips Ahoy. Chips Ahoy, the original chocolate chip cookie is number eight. There actually is a chip on here, but it's not a potato chip. Pringles. No. Doritos. Nacho cheese Doritos. That's number nine. One's a spread. Peanut butter? Not peanut butter. It's a similar um, texture. Oh, Nutella. Nutella is hazelnut. number five. Oh, hazelnut? I used to eat a lot of these. Donuts. Not. <laughs> I used to eat a lot of donuts. Pop-Tart. The strawberry Pop-Tart specific. So good. That is number three. You store it in the fridge. Uncrustables. No, not uncrustables. They're so good though. Pudding. Pudding. Snack pack chocolate vanilla pudding. I haven't had a good pudding in a long time. All right. You need the number one unhealthiest snack on the planet. Now this surprised me a little bit. Ritz crackers. Ritz crackers. Can you guess the specific one? I didn't know there was multiple. It's like a combination. What sandwich between the crackers? Cheese. Cheese. It's cheese and crackers. <laughs> it's Ritz bits cheese sandwich crackers. Those are really good. Guess the top 10 unhealthiest fast food restaurants. Number one has to be McDonald's. McDonald's. It is not. It is number seven. We'll take McDonald's at number seven. So there was a bunch of different lists. I took the most credible source. Wendy's. Wendy's. You're going to be upset. Number one. No. Most that's, unhealthy fast food restaurant. That's that Baconator coming at you. Burger King. Burger King not on a list. Wow. Some of these lists are totally different. Well, now I have to go to Dunkin' Donuts. Not on a list. Whoa. It was on one list, not on this one. In-N-Out Burger. Not on a list. There, Five guys. No, there is a burger spot though. Bulk. Smash yeah. Burger. Smash <laughs> Burger. Number eight. There you go. One pizza place. Domino's. No. Little Caesars. Yes. Little Caesars, number nine. I'd never want to walk into one of those. KFC. That is number five. Keep frying it. You're going to be unhealthy. That's fact. White Castle. Not on the list. Dairy Queen. Dairy Queen's number four. Welcome to the list. Welcome to the unhealthy list. I hope you're happy. Taco Tuesday. Taco Bell. Taco Bell is number three. Do you ever go to Taco Bell for Taco Tuesday? You're not my friend. Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A is number 10. Sonic. Yes. Sonic is number two. They have there a niche. They're on rollerblades. Subway. No. It's not a test. It's a Quiznos. It's a Quiznos. It's number six. Hello, Mr. Quizno. You've done bad. Guess the top 10 unhealthiest chips via eatthisnotthat.com. Specifically chips. Chips brand now, and so flavors. So pretzels don't care. No. They don't count. They don't care either. <laughs> they don't care and they don't count. Doritos. Doritos sweet spicy chili is number four. Oh. That's the only Dorito on the list. Really? If you get the brands, I'll tell you the flavors. Okay, okay, okay. What about Lay's? Lay's dill pickle chips is number five. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting, right? Why would they even invent that flavor? And that's it for Lay's. Cheetos? Okay, Cheetos Minis Flamin' Hot Bites. Minis is number two. Flamin' Hot, uh, uh... So it's it's kind of like the knockoff brand. It's called Chester's Flamin' Hot Fries. Oh. I love them. Chester's a top five mascot. Can I get some Ruffles in there? Ruffles Queso Cheese Chips. Yep, yep, the Queso Cheese. Are number eight. Tostitos. Tostitos? Tostitos, um, oh... Tostitos? Uh... Not on the list. Oh. <laughs> Pringles? Pringles. Philly cheesesteak chips <laughs> is number nine. Pringles has some of the most outrageous flavors I've Wait heard of. Wait for this one. Number 10 is Pringles french fry and ketchup chips. Oh, man. Number one's got to be known. Frito. Frito's chili cheese. Frito-Lay. Most unhealthy chip out there. I'm going to tell you number six. These are not going to get it, but seven you can get. Six is Max salt and vinegar pork rinds. Oh. Seven you can get. Oh, Funyuns. Funyuns is number seven. Oh, yeah. Nice job. Guess the top 10 unhealthiest desserts via hubpages.com. Chocolate chip cookies. Chocolate chip cookies are number nine. What about brownies? Is it that broad? It's not that broad, but I'll give you a brownie sundae as number three. Yep, at Friendly's. Sure. There's one that has a brownie in it. Chocolate cake. Lava cake. Yes. Chocolate lava cake is the most unhealthiest dessert on the planet, apparently. Chocolate pudding pie. Chocolate cream pie is number eight. Yes, there you sir. Go. I think that's pretty much the same thing yes, as a chocolate sir. pudding pie. Banana split. Banana split, number 10. Are you Surprising. serious? <laughs> yes. There's another. There's a fruit in it, but it's unhealthy. Pumpkin pie. No. Carrot cake. Carrot cake is the second most unhealthy dessert. Yeah, which is a confute. It's a reverse on tundra, whatever sure, it's called. Whatever <laughs> you're saying, sure. Gouda. Parmesan. Gouda. Goat. Parmesan. Goat. Cheese Cheese mozzarella. Cheesecake. Yes. Cheesecake is number five. There you go. Italian. Tiramisu. Yes, tiramisu is number six. Unhealthy. What's another name for dirt when it gets water on it? Muddy. Mudslide. A mud pie. That's number four. And then number seven is a type of nut. Pecan pie. Pecan pie. Pecan. Pecan. Don't eat salmon. Don't eat Twix. Don't eat pretzel sticks. Don't eat ham, clams, yams, or food that comes in a can. Don't eat lobster meat. Don't eat processed cheese. And definitely don't eat pepperoni. 
because all these foods will make you sick and are very toxic to the body. So read the book in my profile before they try to stop me. Here's a ranking of the top 10 dirtiest chain restaurants in the U.S. What do you think? Part 2. Six Sonic, headquartered in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, is known for its drive-in service and slushes. Sonic has faced several health violations, including reports of mice in soda machines and restaurants being shut down due to cockroach infestations. Five Taco Bell, with its headquarters in Irvine, California, has locations throughout the U.S. Despite its popularity for Mexican-style fast food, Taco Bell has faced several hygiene issues, such as mystery meat, improper food storage, dirty food preparation counters, and rodent droppings. 4. Chipotle, headquartered in Newport Beach, California, is popular for its Mexican-style fast food. However, it has been plagued by multiple food safety scandals, including E. coli and norovirus outbreaks, rodent issues, and accusations of wage th Top 10 Worst Food Companies That Lying About Their Products In USA Part 4 Number 2 General Mills General Mills has drawn significant criticism for using harmful additives in their products, such as trisodium phosphate, TSP, a chemical formerly used in industrial cleaners and now found in children's cereals. Despite its known dangers, the company justifies its use by emphasizing small quantities. Additionally, General Mills faced backlash for using butylated hydroxytoluene, BHT, a toxic preservative, and for its widespread use of GMOs, while actively lobbying against mandatory GMO labeling, prioritizing profit over consumer safety. Number 1. Conagra Foods Conagra Foods, despite branding its products as made with all natural ingredients, has a troubling history of health code violations, bacterial contamination, and unethical practices. The company was found guilty of endangering consumers, with some incidents linked to deaths. Conagra has also been criticized for concealing GMO usage and sourcing from unethical factory farms. Most shockingly, in 2003, it was revealed that Conagra had been poisoning Americans with E. coli-tainted beef for two years, with the USDA complicit in the cover-up. Top 10. Worst Restaurants in USA 2024 Part 2. Top 8. The Pirate House, Savannah, Georgia. The Pirate House is a historic restaurant in Savannah, Georgia, renowned for its long-standing history and pirate-themed decor. Food. Despite its historical charm, the Pirate House often disappoints diners with subpar food quality. Many customers complain of bland flavors, overcooked dishes, and a lack of freshness. Service. Service at the Pirate House is frequently criticized for being slow and inattentive. Visitors often experience long wait times and encounter disinterested staff. Ambiance. While the pirate theme and historical allure attract tourists, the dining experience can fall short. The decor is described as outdated, and the atmosphere inside can feel cramped and musty. Top 7. Dick's Last Resort, Various Locations Dick's Last Resort is a chain of restaurants known for its deliberately rude and sarcastic service marketed as part of the dining entertainment. Food. Dick's Last Resort garners mixed reviews for its food offerings. While some patrons enjoy the casual, comfort food menu, many criticize the quality as mediocre. Common complaints include greasy, poorly seasoned dishes, and inconsistent preparation. Service. The hallmark of Dick's last resort is its intentionally rude service, where staff members tease and insult customers in jest. While some find this amusing and part of the experience, others feel uncomfortable and disrespected. Ambiance The atmosphere at Dick's Last Resort is lively and chaotic, designed to be fun but overwhelming for some. The decor is intentionally kitschy and over-the-top, adding to the unique dining experience but not always appealing to all top eight worst ice cream brands in USA 2024. Part 2 Number 5. Friendly's. Friendly's packaged ice cream fails to live up to its restaurant standards. 
Despite its popularity, the ice cream sold in grocery stores is criticized for its bland flavor and strange texture. One reviewer pointed out that the vanilla variety doesn't even contain real vanilla. The addition of stabilizers, which prevent melting, only worsens the texture, making it a disappointing experience compared to the original. Number 4. Halo Top Halo Top's low-calorie promise comes with significant drawbacks. Reviewers criticize its texture, describing it as icy, watery, and grainy. Despite its high protein content, the use of erythritol and stevia can cause digestive issues for some. One harsh critic even called it super expensive and likened it to frozen flavored water. For a true ice cream experience, Halo Top falls short. Number 3. Baskin Robbins Baskin Robbins' store-bought ice cream falls short of its nostalgic parlor experience. Reviewers criticize its weird texture and aftertaste, with the vanilla flavor being particularly disappointing. Despite boasting over 1,300 flavors historically, the grocery store versions are a letdown. If you expect the same quality as their parlors, you'll be disappointed with the bland and unappealing packaged product.